So Item 20 is a resolution to declare that the National Rifle Association is a domestic terrorist organization and urging other cities, states, and the federal government to do the same. Super Supervisor Stephanie. Thank you, President E. Colleagues, uh, I, I know that you know I introduced this after the mass shooting at the uh, Gilroy Garlic Festival, being outraged um, just by that shooting. And since we've been on recess, um, we've seen more carnage across this country. Uh, mass shooting in El Paso, Texas, where an individual filled with hate and racism, racism targeted our Latinx community armed with an AK-47 style assault rifle with extra magazines, killed 22 people and injured many more. Hours later in Dayton, Ohio, nine dead in 32 seconds and 27 injured. This person armed with an AR-15 style pistol fitted with an extended magazine that could hold 100 rounds. And this weekend in Odessa, Texas, where seven people were killed by gunmen, 22 others injured with 15 different crime scenes as the individual who was banned from owning a firearm purchased one from a private seller because no background check was required. The NRA has done more to perpetuate and create the sick gun violence epidemic terrorizing our country. They buy off politicians, prevent common sense gun violence legislation, prevent gun violence research, and tell us and everybody that it's the video games, movies, or mental illness. Every country on this earth is exposed to these issues and influences in equal measure, and yet only the United States faces this kind of mass gun violence. The difference is guns. None of our peer countries have assault rifles on their streets. The gun homicide rate in the United States is 25 times higher than any other high-income country in the world. The NRA wants you to believe that the solution to gun violence is more gun ownership. We have a gun ownership rate two times higher than that of any other country in the world. There are 393, 393 million guns in this country, which means there are more guns than people. And we know if more guns meant more safety, America would be the safest country in the world. The NRA exists to spread disinformation and knowingly puts weapons in the hands of those who would harm and terrorize us by blocking common sense gun violence prevention legislation and by advocating for dangerous legislation like stand your ground laws, permitless carry, and guns in schools from kindergarten on up through university. When they use phrases like, I'll give you my gun when you pry it from my cold, dead hands on bumper stickers, they are saying reasoned debate about public safety should be met with violence. When they host national conferences or expositions in or near sites of mass gun violence, they aim to intimidate those who have already been terrorized and knowingly threaten anyone who would organize against their financial interests. The NRA conspires to limit gun violence research, restrict gun violence data sharing, and most importantly, aggressively tries to block every piece of sensible gun violence prevention legislation proposed on any level, local, state, or federal. Over the recess, we had a rally on the steps of City Hall, and I want to thank Mayor Breed and Supervisors Walton and Brown for joining me. We held that rally to urge Majority Leader of the Senate, Mitch McConnell, to bring a background check bill to a vote in the Senate, one that passed in the House. It's been sitting on his desk for over 200 days, and he refuses to bring it up for a vote. Had that passed, the gunman in Odessa, Texas, might have had a background check in the private sale. But Mitch McConnell refuses to bring that legislation up. Why? Because the NRA has given Mitch McConnell $1.4 million. It's no surprise that he puts the NRA's business over safety of our families and communities and it's time this ends. The NRA stokes fear and promotes a culture of hate that is killing our fellow Americans. They are misogynists who are fine with arming domestic abusers, even knowing 92% of all women killed with guns in high-income countries, 92% in 2015 were from the U.S. In an average month, 52 American women are shot and killed by an intimate partner in this country and many more are injured. 
It is time to rid this country of the NRA and call them out for who they really are. They are a domestic terrorist organization. I urge your support and I urge the support of every county in this state. Thank you. Okay. Um, can we take this item, same house, same call? Well, objection, this resolution passes unanimously. Uh, Madam Clerk, call item 22. 